What's good, 360 Wave family? It's me, Rashad, 360 Wave Process Rashad. And today, I'm about to answer questions that my 3WP Wave family sent me through 360waveprocess.com. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. 360waveprocess.com. Just to let y'all know, the 360 Wave Process Blue Edition is back in stock. You can get it on 360waveprocess.com. Also, I want to let y'all know, I'm coming out with 3WP Durags pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you signed up on the email list on 360waveprocess.com so that you can stay up to date with those type of things. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Bright mind with a golden future. Trying to reach out to my people like I'm Martin Luther. Just another king with a dream, another rock for a fiend. Cody Glock with a beam, cold cases. All right, as we know, waivers submit their picture and their question. I pop the picture up right here. Um, I read the question and answer it. Let's answer the first question. So the first question says, 3WP, am I a beginner or am I a medium waiver? And if I'm a medium waiver, how can I keep it up? Bro, you're gonna have to rephrase that question because I don't get it. Um, if I'm looking at your waves right now, I can see that you dipping, honestly. You're not a beginner. I can't see the rest of the angles for the sides and the back, but looking at this top view, you're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. And that's really all I have to say for that. Let's move on to the next question. This next waiver, this is his picture right here. And this is what he says. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because right now I'm woofing and I can see it coming in on the front of my hair, but not really on the sides. And I don't feel like I'm doing anything right. Please help. I'm taking a look right now and your hair looks pretty low. Honestly, bro. I'm looking at it, it kind of seems to me as if your hair isn't that coarse, all right? It's kind of a straighter or medium texture, okay? So you're gonna have to keep more hair on your head than what you have in this picture. To my waivers who have hair like him, you have to probably keep your hair at no lower than a 1.5. So bro, next time you go to the barber shop, tell them you want a 1.5. Don't go lower than that. Also, I see like a light spot towards the top. If your hair is thin like that, you're gonna have to put in extra woofing time so that you can train your hair. For example, I see it thin right there. You're gonna have to put in extra weeks of woofing because if you cut it that thin before the progress is in there and solidified, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to see progress. And that's why you're not seeing the progress, okay? So, I'm going to leave you with some quick tips right here. Don't cut that low again and um, put that wolf work in and just keep your brushing up and you should see progress. After you make a little bit more progress, if you still need help, upload another picture and ask another question if you still need more help, all right? Let's move on to the next question. This next waiver says he does not know where his crown is. So, we looking at the picture. Do y'all see his crown? Because I see it, it's right there. A lot of waivers, sometimes they get confused at identifying their crown area. So I'm gonna help you out right here, bro. I'm gonna draw this circle around your crown right there, and that is your crown, okay? The way that you need to brush this, it all determines on what type of crown or pattern you're trying to get. If you're trying to um, achieve a beehive, then you wanna just brush around the crown in like this type of direction right here that I'm about to show you. If you're trying to get a beehive crown, grab yourself a nice medium brush and um, this is what you wanna do. Beehive crown is basically brushing in an outward direction from all around. So you will brush basically this side that way. You'll brush the, this part right here downward brush this part forward, you know what I mean? Almost like a circle, but going out of the circle. Your crown will end up being like a, a point right here. It takes brushing angles. It's difficult in the beginning, bro, honestly. I can tell you that my crown didn't form into as tight as it is right now 
until like just earlier this year. Let me go closer so that you can see. I'm not sure if my camera is focusing. Let me just try and get my crown together real quick. Concentrated brushwork is what it takes. See, as I get my brush strokes correct around my crown area, you see it starting to tighten up. You see how it's tightening up? At first it was kind of looking split and not circular and tight. Once you get the concentrated brush work, over time your crown will start to tighten up. But it takes legit time, bro. I'm telling you. Also, you have to recognize how your crown is being cut. I spoke about this in a live video stream. The way I figured this out is because when I cut my own hair, I noticed that my crown tends to be lightened at the end of the cut. And then when, I, when my barber cuts my hair, my crown is intact at the same length that I would cut it in. So if you're not cutting your crown correctly, then you would be destroying progress and it'll look like you're not making any progress, regardless if you're putting in major brushwork. So you have to be on the lookout of how your crown is being cut. You gotta find you a good barber that know what they're doing. You gotta cut with the direction of your crown in the way that you're brushing. And sometimes you gotta put in major wolf work, you gotta leave the crown area at a higher length so that you can put in more brush work on it. That's your crown right there. Put that brush work in, you can tighten it up and you'll be good. Let's move on to the next question. So we got another waiver, let's see what he says. When I go to the barber, I don't know what to ask for, so I ask for a dark cut and I don't know what to do in the morning before school. So basically, bro, this is what you gotta ask your barber. Um, I'm looking at your hair right here. This is not a dark cut. This is a super low cut. If you keep getting your hair cut like this, it's basically like you're starting over. I see a little wave pattern in there, but overall, your hair is just too short, bro. Whoever cut your hair, it's like they scalped your 360 wave progress entirely. When you go to the barber shop, ask your barber for a one with the grain. So every time you go to the barber, don't ask for just a dark cut because that's not specific enough. What if he thinks that's a dark cut? Let me get you a guard so you can see what it looks like. I don't have my one guard. I don't know where it is. Honestly, that's weird. I think it's over here. Wow, that's odd for sure. But anyways, let's just say this is a one guard right here. This is what the guard looks like. Ask your barber to put that on the clippers. And that, what that's gonna do is gonna leave your haircut at a specific length. The length of a one guard is usually the best length that keeps your haircut looking fresh without cutting it too low, okay? So yeah. I hope that helps you. Also, you said, what did you say? You don't know what to do in the morning before school. So basically, bro, do the morning method. If you don't know what the morning method is, I think I'm gonna have to make a, a new morning method video. So if y'all want me to make a morning method 3.0, then um, go ahead, hit that like button. Let's get this video to like 1,000 likes and then leave a comment down below saying, drop that morning method. I hope this is helping you guys out. As you know, you can submit a picture of your waves and question by hitting that link in the description and uploading a picture of your waves. Please only upload one picture because you know what I mean? I'm only gonna use one picture. Let me see, do we have any other questions? Oh, we got one last question from the last waiver. I woof for a month, this waiver says, and had deep waves, but when I cut the waves, they aren't as deep, what should I do? So, I'm looking at your hair right now, and it looks like you got it cut too low, and that's why they're not as deep. Your hair is still coarse, but it's a little bit less coarse than the average coarse hair waver. And so, you need to understand the cut that you have right now, it's a very low haircut. 
ask your barber next time for a 1.5, okay? I think a 1.5 all around even will be very good for your hair texture. And them tapers on the sides, that is a like a, a makeshift taper. That's not a true taper. That's what I call an imitation taper because it's not tapered right and it's tapered too high. So watch out for that. Don't get no tapers if they're gonna be tapering it like that, okay? That's like an imitation taper fade. No, 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 you gonna have to cut that out, bruh, all right? That's gonna stop you from getting progress on the sides. I know you was probably dipping like much harder than this when you had more hair on your head. And that's what you kind of suggest. You said you whipped for a month and had deep waves, but when you got the cut, they wasn't as deep. And like I said, don't cut it that low, bro. All right, y'all. So that's the tips for these waivers right here. Um, I hope these tips help you guys. I'm 360 Wave Process Rashad. I'm kind of woofing right now. Let me show y'all what my wave's looking like. Quick little brush session, brush with me. Notice how I'm brushing. Notice how I'm hitting these angles. Notice how my wave logo is in the same direction that my waves are on my head. If you have a 3WP brush, use your wave logo to help you identify the way your waves will come out, all right? If you want your waves to slant at the top, simply get in the mirror, look at your wave logo, and tilt it at the angle you want your waves, and brush in that direction every time. And that's it, y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe. If you submitted a picture, as long as you asked a pretty decent question and your picture was not terrible, then you're, you're gonna be in one of these videos. So I appreciate y'all wave family. Thank you for showing support. See y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Bright mind with a golden future. Trying to reach out to my people like I'm Martin Luther. Just another king with a dream, another rock for a fiend. 40 Glock with a beam, cold cases. All they did was give me probation.